The next comedian is fresh off a of performance in front of three sleeping dogs. Put your hands together for her solo, Paul Hubble! Dogs. We're like three ungrateful little footballs. <laughs> if I don't put in any container of any food anywhere in that house, they're all over me like a bunch of groupies at a rock concert. <laughs> <laughs> but give them a free comedy spectacular, they don't even bother to stop snoring. <laughs> anyway, I'm a good Samaritan. But only part time because people keep messing it up for me. <laughs> Case in point, the other night, I saw an old lady broken down on the side of the road, so I pulled over to help her. As I was walking up to her, she makes me. <laughs> I, was, I was flabbergasted. I didn't know what to think of that, because all I said was, this must be my lucky night. <laughs> I was only smiling because I finally got a chance to do a good, feet, a good deed for the day. That stuff burned so bad I dropped my tire iron. I still can't get that pepper smell out of my black hoodie. I saw a fellow motorist in distress. I knew he was in distress because everybody was blowing their horns at him, swearing around him, speeding by, yelling at him and stuff. And he was on his phone, obviously seeking assistance because that's what you do when you're in distress. So I helped him move his vehicle off the road. And then as I was leaving, I saw in the rear view mirror, he was jumping up and down and flipping me the bird for helping him. I think he never parked his vehicle on the side of the interstate before. At 70 miles an hour. <laughs> Once upon a time, I even opened a bar with low prices and a comfortable atmosphere to help people out in tough economic times. I named that bar the 13th Step. <laughs> Bars out there reward drunks for completing the 12-step program. <laughs> but, but in all honesty, I, I do a lot of different things to improve myself, and I let my wife know what I'm doing so she doesn't think that I'm crazy. Er. <laughs> One exercise where I take the imaginary, the negative voice in my head, and I pretend that it's an actual person sitting beside me. I call him my roommate. It says to remind me that it's ridiculous to listen to that negative voice in your head all the time. It's, you shouldn't listen to that voice. So one day I was watching TV. I fell asleep with my roommate yapping away in my ear, as usual. <laughs> But my wife came in and sat down beside me, looked at the TV, and she said, That shit was so stupid. I can't believe you watched that thing so stupid. So I reached over and backhanded my roommate. Oh, no. Only problem is, my roommate had left. Yeah, usually, at this point, I would say, that's why you shouldn't listen to your roommate, because nobody laughs. Nobody laughed during the class on that joke. <laughs> but my, my point there is you should never listen to your roommate, because my roommate told me that joke would be funny. Probably because you wrote it. My wife also knows that I meditate, and it's difficult for me to achieve that, that quiet state. So I, I practice a lot. And one day I was watching TV. I heard my wife pull up in the driveway. And 
I just wasn't really in the mood to stop everything and listen to how annoying people are out in the world. Because I already know how annoying people are. So I muted the TV and I sat perfectly still with my eyes closed. My wife came in, saw me, went back to the bedroom and closed the door. So then I unmuted the TV and I was watching Archer. <laughs> And then I turned into Star Trek. <laughs> when <laughs> my wife has a cat. Okay, fine. I'm married her, so we have a cat. But through rigorous observation, I've determined that the cat only runs in two situations: the cat runs towards food and away from the vacuum cleaner. So I put cat food in the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> You've got something to think about. <laughs> but, but on a serious note, I used to have a drinking problem. I would drink any alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Rum, vodka, bourbon, anything to help me deal with the issues that I was that I was feeling at the time. But I'm happy to report to you that I'm feeling much better now. I no longer have a problem drinking. I finally drink enough. <laughs> Thank you. I